And we're about to get this game underway. Um, so you don't think the fact that Gateshead have won these two matches so far will make any difference at all, Mark? I don't, not at all. I think, you know, to, as I say, it's a completely different game. Um, it's, it's a new start almost, a new season. Um, I think, like I say, both sides will have to feel the way into the game and get used to the routine of, of playing competitive football again. Preston down the left-hand side. Looks like he's got the better of Shields and Shields slips as he wins the ball. Which surprised that's a yellow, I've got to be honest. So it's Ollie and Devedick stood over the ball. Referee having a word with the wall. Drilled in by Ollie and it's flicked oh. on and into the net. Gateshead have the lead. 19 minutes gone. It's the perfect start for the Heed. Boston nil, Gateshead won. JJ O'Donnell, he's found uh, some goal scoring prowess this season, having the best goal scoring season of his career. And uh, we should add that he, he has, I think he's got six with his head now as well, which uh, for, for, a, for a left wing back is quite unusual. But uh, what a ball in from Ollie. As we said, it was just any flick on it, and uh, lovely flick from O'Donnell. Whittle, Abbott. But under pressure, does well to get it to Fulis. He's not seen much of the ball so far, Fulis. Here's his chance, plays it to right. Right, inside the box, and that, that could be a penalty, and it's given! Jake Wright is foul, and Boston have a chance to get back into the game. It's a penalty. What did you think, Mark? Well, Williamson seemed to pull away. I mean, we are behind it, so we haven't got the greatest view, we should say, but he did seem to, to pull his legs away. But finally, some reward for Jake Wright. He had a frustrating first half an hour. It's Jordan Thewlis who's going to take the penalty. Boston's 16 goal leading scorer. Hasn't seen much of the ball in the opening stages, but here is his chance to make an impact. 34 minutes gone. And he sends the keeper the wrong way, and Boston are back in this game. Jordan Thewlis is 17th of the season. It's Boston 1, Gateshead 1. Very good penalty, very calm. I think even if. I think even if Rod James went the right way, he wasn't saving that one. Uh, top right on corner. Good penalty, nice and calm. See why he's got so many goals this season. A real bonus that for the Pilgrims. In a difficult opening half hour for them. They've looked a little rusty so far, but they're back in this game and it is game on in this playoff semi final. It would be a referee, yeah. Yeah, I don't envy them. Although slightly easier, perhaps, in, the, in this day and age with no <laughs> fans in the ground. Wide to Rollins. Rollins takes on his man, does well, and the flag has gone up. Not quite sure what that was for. Ref goes over for a chat with his assistant. It's gone Boston's way, hasn't it? It's a penalty. And he's given another penalty. <laughs> well. Um. If the first penalty was controversial, that certainly was. Book Williamson. Is he, is he booked Williamson? Is that something off the ball? Well, <laughs> we've seen the replay and we're none, none the wiser. And it's Thewlis again to take this penalty, second of the game, and a chance for Boston to take the lead for the first time in this playoff semi final. Will he go the same side? And he does go the same side. The keeper goes the right way, but he can't keep it out. Thewlis with his second. Boston lead, Boston two, Gateshead one. Well, answers on a postcard for that one because I, you know, we're looking directly at it. We just can't see what he's given. It did look as if it was given against JJ O'Donnell, but Williamson's been booked. So honestly, can't offer anything as to why there's a penalty given there. Cross takes a deflection off Shields, who then clears downfield, and there is the half-time whistle. An eventful first half here at the Jakeman Stadium. It's Boston United two, Gateshead one. Back with Preston. Not got much support. Works it wide to Ollie. Right flank. Platt comes across. 
Nicholson now, oh, who goes down it. inside the box, and he's given it. It's the third penalty of the game, this time to Gateshead. It was Whittle with the challenge. Again, I think it's an unnecessary challenge. If, if we just look, I think Nicholson's flicked it around him and he's dived in. It's, it's quite naive. Uh, and again, as, he, as we keep saying, giving the referee to the decision to make, good break from Nicholson. Yeah, no complaints there. He's yeah. got that all wrong. It's an off-balance challenge. Nicholson to take it. Chance for Gateshead to level. And he Good drills penalty. it into the corner. Terrific penalty. Cook went the right way but couldn't get there. It's back in the balance here at York Street. Boston 2, Gateshead 2. Yeah, Alex Nicholson there, really cool and calm. Stepping up. Good penalty in that corner. Could go on the right way but just couldn't get enough on it uh, to keep it out of the net. Gates are back level terms now. What a game ahead of us. He's holding his chest. His shoulder maybe. Still manages to close down that uh, gate to clear. I think he'll be all right. And uh, Abbott does really well to win the ball back. Chance to put a ball in. Great opportunity for the Pilgrims. Rollins hits it. Yeah. Terrific goal from Jay Rollins. That's a fabulous finish. First time from Abbott's cutback. And he strokes it beyond James from the edge of the area. Boston back in front. Boston United three. Gateshead two. 62 minutes gone. Yeah, we are right behind that. You can see as soon as it's left his foot, it's only going one place. Gates will be disappointed that they haven't closed him down a little bit quicker. But uh, what a finish. I did say just before that he looked lively without doing anything. He's certainly done it now. It's a good finish. The man of Boston's first two goals might have been contentious with those penalty awards. No doubts about that one. Fabulous finish from Jay Rollins. We're back underway after that drinks break and substitution. Boston still yet to make their first change. Right, battling away. Good turn and a good ball in as well. He finds the back of the net. What an incredible strike from Jake Wright. He surely didn't mean that. Fabulous turn down the right hand side. He didn't have much support and he smashed it into the far corner of the net. And Boston have a firm grip on this playoff semi final. 4 2 up with 20 minutes to go. Jake Wright with Boston's four. Got some power and whip on that. I think we would probably say it was a cross. It would be goal of the season if not. Yeah. Um, but I think, yeah, that's that's obviously just gone over Brad in the far corner. Just have a look at it here. Again, Scotty from Gates having the build up. It's a, it's a good turn. Yeah, yeah that's going to be a cross. Here. So that's the end of the day for former Boston midfielder Liam Agnew. Oh. Floated into the box. Preston uh, Keating, sorry, has gone down. The referee. Allows play to continue. And so many of that jostling in the penalty area. Now Boston trying to counter. Oh, he's through. Rollins in the middle. Jake Wright scores for the Pilgrims. It's 5 2. And surely Boston are heading for the playoff final back here next Saturday against Altrincham. He had an option of Rollins in the middle, but he took it himself. Right with his second. Boston 5. Gateshead 2. Yeah, Gateshead's still complaining about the, the alleged foul in the middle. I'm not entirely sure there was one, but uh, just naive defensively there. Got caught on the break really, really easily. Paul Black is just losing out edge of the box. Trying to scrap there, but you can't leave one man against two at the back like that. Not Nicholson maybe could have scored on his feet a little bit more, but fair play to right. He could have easily squared it there, but he's taking his time. It's a really cool finish. Uh, long, long, long way back for Gateshead now. Free kick in a promising position for Gateshead. Drilled in. Headed on, and it drops into the net. It's a third goal for Gateshead. Elliot Forbes there. Forbes with a header. Great header. Virtually a free header. Placed it very well into the corner of the net, and with five minutes to go, it's Boston United five, Gateshead three. Yeah, great ball in from Ollie. Uh, needless free kick to give away. I think it was Elliot Forbes. Just trying to say that was a crowded area again. Terrific ball in. Devadix, Keating, Blackett, and there is the full-time whistle. Boston United are through to the National League North playoff final, the beaten Gateshead, five goals to three. A terrific game here at York Street in what will be the penultimate game here at York Street for the Pilgrims. They will be at home next Saturday in the final against Altrincham.